Hey guys, Chen Hao over here, and today this is a bit of a more of a vlog kind of video, and I'll be unboxing some of the stuff that I brought over from Shenzhen. Okay, so first up, um, we have uh, these are the more consumer electronic stuff, but I bought two, I bought two, I bought two uh earphones, wireless earphones. I actually bought one for myself first, and then after that, um, I I decided that I like the quality after trying it out, and because uh my my friends wanted some, so. I bought two for my friends, so yeah, each each year piece costs twenty five sing dollar, which is which is a decent price, yeah. So um, I do like the quality, so I'm thinking of uh, I've I've the contact of the person who who bought who sold me these. So if anyone wants it, right, if you want to try mine and you like it and you want me to 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 help you get it, I can help you get it, yeah. And I suppose um, I can save a bit of money if I buy in bulk also. So the next thing. Was I went to the bookstore and I bought this um Linux Nehe, which means Nehe means um kernel, so um it's a book explaining Linux kernel. And looking at it right, if I go over, yeah, if I flip through the pages, you can see that I I've read a bit of it and um it was quite fun trying to okay the camera is not in focus but it's not like you can see much anyway, but. Uh, flipping through it, I realized that the vocabulary is actually quite fun to decipher. So, for example, there's one example where um, they said uh, there's one example where they said uh, 内存页表 right, and that turns out to be I I figured out it meant the page tables, and I was just quite fascinated with um all the all the all the of all, all the vocabulary and stuff. So, yeah, so so they they I I feel like the style of the textbook. Of the book over here is a bit different from your usual kernel book in the sense that the usual kernel book goes through certain topics in some order, and I don't know if it's just the Chinese author over here or it's just this book is good. But he he actually starts off by talking about timers. So once again, if you want the if you want the title of the book is this right? 精通 Linux 内核，呃，智能设备开发和新技术。And if you wanna read it, just let me know, and I would、uh, let you browse through it. So, on the on the book's end, right? Another there's another book that I bought. And that would be Linux Unix XV6. So I've been studying the XV6 kernel for a while now, and I was very very pleasantly surprised to see. That they have a Unix XV6 book. It's currently I bought um this book because I wanted to study the XV6 kernel and it's a good uh pedagogical kernel to go through. So yeah, so so once again, it's talking about the kernel, but this is not the Linux kernel. It's the Unix XV6 kernel, which is a more of a pedagogical kernel. And yeah, I hope I can I I I flip through it and there's some practical examples. The copy I have right now is still sealed, so I'm I won't be opening up so soon. Right, I'll read the.、Uh, I'll be putting opening up once I want to start the the lab exercises. Yeah, but the next book I bought was, um, what is this? It's a 新一代电子装备制造书技术 which means uh, I don't know what it means, but I know that looking at the contents of it, if I go through the contents, you can see that um, there's a semiconductor over here, and. Yeah, it seems like a bunch of uh semiconductor technologies, and I the main reason why I bought these um this book was because I wanted to, I went to Shenzhen to buy electronics and I figured that I need to I have a lot of work to do in terms of my electronics vocabulary. Like for example, I learned that uh inductor. Sorry, I learned that inductor was a, 电感 right and yeah and and. And I need to learn all this vocabulary the next time for the next time I go back. So I figured that I want to buy an electronics book, so that、uh, I can slowly digest the vocabulary. But、um, I couldn't find a good electronics book that I liked, so I opted for a semiconductor book instead. So you see, they talk about ICs over here. Um, 中度 right? Okay. Um, can't see the words, but they talk about frequencies and yeah, just generally getting a good sense of the. Chinese uh electrical engineering vocabulary, so that's why I bought this book. Yeah, yay! So this book, semiconductors, right for electronics.
Okay, and the next thing I have is um, I bought this toolkit over here. So, bought this uh hardware toolkit, and I already have some tools, but I feel like my screwdrivers are getting dirty, especially because recently I tried to I tried to take apart an aircon, and the aircon is really dirty, and it kind of it kind of uh caused my tools to be dirty. So, I wanted. I wanted a new set of tools so that I can use it in a so, so called clean, cleaner work area. And yeah, so one set of tools. Actually, there, there's two shop over there, and the 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 the, the two shop owner was very friendly. And um, I bought uh, a power supply and a uh, and a disc screwdriver set from there. So you can see that this is uh is a screwdriver that can um. Oh, I think this 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 rotating thing locks locks uh this this item in place or something. Yeah, I'll I'll figure it out. Uh, I'll figure it out. But yeah, so uh a lot of a lot of screwdriver bits. There's this bendable part that you can insert it. Okay, this doesn't doesn't fit at the moment, but I need the adapter and whatnot. But yeah, generally just a a screwdriver set, right? I bought one from Japan last time also from Akihabara, and. I don't know why. Every time, the the two times I went overseas to buy electronics, I always ended up buying a screwdriver set. I guess it's a rite of passage. I guess it's a ritual now. Okay, so that is my um screwdriver set. From the same store, I also bought a DC power supply. DC power supply. So, uh, this is rated for. This this is. Let me go zoom up. So let me just unbox this right here. Okay, you see, I can't find my pen knife, so I'm using a, uh, I'm using a, I'm using a what's this called? Oh, I'm using a, um, wire cutter instead. Okay, so that's that. And it's open. Let's take a look. So, thankfully, uh, China's uh power grid runs off uh two hundred fifty volts or something. So this is the manual, the product certificate, and voila! Here's the power supply. So, I believe this is rated for. See the back of the packaging over here. I believe it's rated for um thirty volts and three amps. Or oh, thirty volts and five amps. So I'm not sure if you can see over here. You can't really see uh thirty volts and five. Oh, sorry, not five. Yeah, yeah, five amps. Thirty volts and five amps. Okay, the lighting is really bad, but um my first time doing an unboxing video. Yeah, thirty volts and five amps. You can see, so looks good, and yeah, generally looks exciting. Um, bunch of uh cables that come with it. Cables that come with it. Um, yeah. So that's the power supply. And next up, we have uh, we have Raspberry Pi. So, as you may know, Raspberry Pi is out of stock. Almost uh globally, I'm not sure if it's back in stock, but I got it for eighty dollars Sing dollar. So here's my Raspberry Pi. I wanted to buy more, but I wasn't so sure that it would work. So I was a little a bit concerned. So in the end, I I bought just one, and I've intentions to to try it out. And if it works, then I'll go back and. I'll, I'll buy more. I think I have the contact of the person who sold me this also. So, Raspberry Pi. I intend to build like a supercomputer project or something. Just a cluster computer, just to get uh, familiar with. Uh, why is it so hard to open? 
Please don't bash me in the comments for this. Oh boy. It's just oh oh I'm a, wait. Oh oh I'm an idiot. It says open here. Okay, clearly I've never opened Raspberry Pi before. The Raspberry Pi doesn't include SD card. Looks cool. And I will try it out and uh, hopefully it works. So yeah, so so that's the Raspberry Pi. And uh, I also bought some inductor cores. So inductor cores. Okay, so I bought inductor cores. Uh, they're huge, right? They're almost the size of my, um, half the size of my palm. So uh, I went over around there in the in the, in, in one of the, 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 the man was trying to explain to me the different materials. Like there's a black material and there's a green material. I forgot the exact Chinese word he said, but I mean, I believe there are something along the lines of uh, iron powder or something. Um, and I bought these inductor cores because I, I used black, inductor cores before for my gate drive transformer for my tesla coil and uh they were twenty dollars each on element 14. i i don't know i don't know why i, I mean i chose the twenty dollar uh, inductor cores because i didn't know whether they work or not and i think i bought a few from i bought a few from um, simlim where they were green color right green in color and unfortunately they weren't the type that i needed right because um inductors ideal inductors would would convert, would, 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 would convert. Uh, if you put a sine wave on the uh, on the primary, it'll give you a sine wave on the secondary, right? Um, and if you change the amplitude of the sine wave, uh, an an ideal inductor would would not an ideal inductor core would not care, right? What frequency the sine wave you input is. Right? And basically the frequency response will be flat, roughly speaking. Theoretically speaking, the ideal inductor core has a flat frequency response. But um, as you know, not everything in electrical engineering is ideal. And um, and there's a frequency response curve for every inductor core, for, depending on the material and the geometry. So I it turns out that my application for the gate drive transformer was to supply a square wave on the... Supply a square wave on the primary side and as a result I needed a square wave on the secondary side um, and only some inductor cores at the frequency which I was testing which was around 400 kilohertz uh, l gave me back a square wave when I input a square wave so I hope these work um, I'm, I'm not my hopes are not very high because they don't feel like exactly the same material as the, the ones I bought last time but they came very cheap so the point is if I know if I if I try these and um, they work, then I have found a cheap Chinese supplier for my Tesla coil drivers, and that means that I can in future mass produce um get drive transformers for Tesla coils. And why would I want to do that? I don't know why, right? I I I only need one Tesla coil, but if I want to sell Tesla coils or something, then that might come in useful. Or I can just give advice to my friends, I guess. Yeah, not not that I have any Tesla coil friends anyway. But, um, okay. So next up, I have. 10 chips, right, of the CH341A. So, yeah, okay, so so this item over here, I bought it in Singapore, right, on Shopee. Um, and I was quite uh, unlucky because I got one that didn't work. For $6, I got one that didn't work. And, and that was bad because, because I spent a lot of days, right, trying to figure out why it didn't work. And I, I tested different drivers. I even used Windows, Linux drivers all over the place. All of them didn't work. And it, at the end of the day, I it turned out the chip didn't work. So so that's why I bought 10 of these chips. Um, the reason why I bought 10 was because the price of each was 1 USD roughly. And when I asked on Alibaba, the shipping price was $10 uh, USD. So I'm pretty much paying half, 50% of the cost if I if I buy it on Alibaba, right, fifty percent of the cost goes to shipping, which is not uh, ideal, right? Of course, it's just twenty dollars in total. But um, I, when I went there, it so happened that they I, I found a supplier for the CH CH uh three four CH three four one A chip, right? So if I see over here, okay, my zooming for this camera is way off, but 
uh, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna salvage this camera soon. Then. Ah yes, yes. It's a manual zooming, so it's C C H three four one A. And my plan is to desolder the chip on these, right? Because I have another one of these bots. I actually bought another one of these uh to see whether it works. And and yeah, it turns out it's a chip problem. So for the one that doesn't work, I'm gonna desolder it and I'm going to I'm going to uh replace it with the these chips and I, I i don't have a lot of optimism that the that these chips work just as well also because after all i think they are second hand and the buyer specifically told me that the the chips uh, are not refundable if they don't work so well that that's the best i could have and um yeah so 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 this just a 10 ch 341a for my mini programmer right used to do uh modding for uh, it can read the ROM chips on your CPU. Uh, on a, a motherboard, I mean, not your, not your CPU. It can read the ROM chips on your computers. So that's uh, cool. Yeah, so I bought chips or so. And what else did I buy? Um, okay, and let me just go get something else. And I bought uh, I bought a lot of these uh, these these ball magnets, right? So they're just they're just to they're just for fun, right? Because um, on on Shopee they sold this for quite expensive prices, like not worth it prices basically to me. And uh, they sold it at worth it prices in China, so that's why I bought these um, yeah. So I bought uh five hundred five hundred of these uh mini balls. <laughs> so maybe I can make some structure, make some uh, stuff for fun. But more, that's more of the toy side. That's not so much of equipment. And last but not least, I bought um a multimeter. So, uh, I bought a multimeter even though I already have one because, uh, my current multimeter is a bit smelly from trying from me trying to probe the aircon my 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 dirty aircon with it. And so I, I bought a, a new one because uh more for clean work and also because my previous multimeter is a uh, is a bit finicky, like the yeah honestly I I I'll, I'll admit I didn't really need this, but I just I just felt like buying it because uh I think I I have a friend who also wants a multimeter so having two might mean that when I lend him one or I give him one then he I I wouldn't have uh I'll still have one multimeter at home so. Yeah, I think that's about it. Um, in terms of my purchases. Uh, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this slightly informal video of me unboxing stuff. Um, let me know if you, let me know if you want to visit Shenzhen, right? Cause uh, I kind of know the place better now, and there's uh, almost anything electronic you can think of is over there. So there's there's all the way from consumer electronics. They're selling like fake iPhones or, or, or like repaired iPhones not fake iPhones repaired iPhones um uh they're selling um watches that look like Apple watches but I did I don't know if they're actually Apple watches they really look like Apple watches and yeah I have a few contacts and I feel a few a bit of on the ground experience over there they sell everything from consumer electronics to electronic parts to industrial electronic parts so they things like your PLC is programmable logic controllers for your pneumatics right they sell pistons they sell clamps they sell all kinds of things so yeah let me know what you need and i will let you know if it's in shenzhen and i'll tell you where to find it so you know see you bye